Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Dad's React. My name is Clay. That's Corey. Uh, we are on episode three of Agatha All Along. We totally dug the first two. They were great. Catherine Hahn's amazing. Uh, cool story. Patty Lapone. Uh, who else? Who else is in the show? Whatever her name is. The other lady, the other girl who's the bad guy, kind of. I yeah, like Aubrey Plaza's character. Aubrey Plaza, yep. Then. We have the teen, the kid, whatever his, we don't know his name yet. He can't tell us, well, he can't tell her. Yeah, we don't know his, his character's name. name. I definitely don't know the actor's name. And then what, there's the mom from that 70s show. That's her, right? What a great, what a great group we have going this, on this. I'm excited. I like, just like, we're on the road. Let's go. They didn't waste any time. Give us two episodes. Give us our overarching thing and let's go on our quest. And we're on the quest now. So Yeah, I, I feel like the Golden Girls is literally the golden standard for kind of women ensembles when it comes to like unique individual characters being able to be funny or mean or sad or whatever. And I don't, I know they all just sang together as a group, but they have that going and one of the mom or one of the witches is like, I don't even know what I'm doing here. And it's right. great. It's great. Like because of the imperfection you want mm -hmm. to be involved with it. You're like, no, you may be witches, but I feel you're closer to my day to day life. Like dumb shit happens. <laughs> right. And I, and I truly hope that the, I truly hope that, uh, the green, the one that, uh, Miss Hart does. I hope that she is the most powerful thing in the group. Whenever, if she has good witch power, it like cranks up. I hope it's like just an insane explosion. I don't think she's going to have any witch powers. I think she's going to do like mom stuff and like win. I think she's going to be the equivalent of the cartoon where the baby gets loose <laughs> and is like walking across a steel beam and magically yeah, hits another. It. Like that's going to be her. She's going to be, I don't know what's going on this whole fucking time. Flame. Whoa. Kiddos. You know, like shit like that. Like right. I, I hope she is a basically a funny NPC like sidekick like I want her there because I need just the oh I do gardening and baking everyday variety person to like see all of this insane witchcraft that's probably gonna happen right I, I'm with you that, that can also be acceptable I could do that up until she activates her powers and then is the biggest thing out there but I digress um yeah so everybody who tuned in thanks for checking us out as always, do all the YouTube stuff below if you like what you see. We got uh, plenty of content, Marvel, Star Wars, Star Trek, all that good stuff out there. And if you're returning, thanks as always. And without further ado, episode three of Agatha All Along. I like their new intro. This The Marvel television, little like, that's kind of neat. Alice Wu Gulliver, we're looking for a protection bitch. To join I like on the previous one, they're giving us all their names. Like, in case you forgot everybody's name. Okay, no cell service. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, she's got to be the baby. She's got to be the baby on the tightrope. I want it so bad. Again, who are you? <laughs> oh, oh, now they, they none of them can. <laughs> I like how all three of them are like, what? <laughs> Looks like Agatha brought a sparkly little mystery with her. She was probably trying to keep them all to herself. Why would someone want to hide me? Damn, dude. That is four women that have smug, look at me, bitch face. You fucking ruined us. Like face like no other. Perfect. Mm. They're all down. <laughs> yeah. And you. Where'd she Wait, go? Where's Mrs. Hart? <laughs> and she's gone. <laughs> dude, she is the baby. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, I want it. Yes, it's God. Like, don't let her die right here. Oh, no. Nope. God, no. This came from Talbots. You can't have it. <laughs> This is not the way to go. Yeah. 
Yes, thank you, team. So if we just follow the instructions of the ballot, we'll be I just love how everyone's just such a sassy asshole to him. <laughs> Nope, it's a test. It's too inviting. The I would be safe there because I'm like not the right complexion for such bright weather all the time. Not doing it. That's going to be hot. That's going to be sticky. That's going to be gross. I don't want to go anywhere fucking near that. <laughs> if it was some mountains and some snow, I would be fucked. I'm like, God, that looks so enticing. <laughs> <laughs> right off your vision board. Maybe this is the end. Don't be such a bummer. It's only darkness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. It's fantastic. You know, you and I would never get anywhere in there because, like, I'm all about just going with the flow, but I'm also cautious as fucking shit. I don't know. Like, you and I would still be back to back, looking left and right, walking down that little trail, right. like half an inch at a time. Like, do you see anything? Do you see anything? No, I'm good. I'm good. All right. <laughs> right. <laughs> We've never made it to the beach. Head on a swivel, man. Head on a swivel. It's Everybody looks all snazzy age, now. Second chance at love vibes, and I'm here for it. Definitely. And there's no doorknob. These don't open. Oh my god! <laughs> Bury me in that kitchen! <laughs> <laughs> She's oh, gonna be the best. I hope she never dies. The character. I mean, we're all gonna die, but <laughs> not in the not in the show. No man. Our grandchildren might get lucky. There'll be some rich folks that are prolong prolonging their self inevitably in some fucking surrogate or some bullshit. Sounds like you. Mm -hmm. Wine. Wine. Yes. That's it. Ten points for Mrs. Hart. Ten points for what now? See, this another reason being sober pays off. You would never be tempted by some dumb trickery wine that gets everybody <laughs> into some mysterious event. You're like, I don't drink, so you got any two oh, homie? <laughs> That's that's where I would fall. I would be right there. <laughs> Everybody, they were like one, one bottle of wine. All five of them were like, "This is all I need in life." <laughs> <laughs> Did you know she traded her own child for the Book of the Damned? Rutro. Or an Aiden of Mephisto. <gasps> but hey, that's what happens when you have. They said the word. They said Mephisto. <laughs> There you go. Well, that's not even as long as the show. Uh, no, it's longer than the show because we don't count credits. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm impressed that there is what can only be described as like overacting going on, but it fits. And I don't know why, but like, uh, Catherine Hahn is being a little more like overly dramatic. And so is, uh, Miss Hart. So, and it's a couple of them, not so much, but those two, and it plays well with it. I'm digging it. Well, I think this show is also putting off, like, it's got that mysterious fun vibe. Like, we know we're going down in the rowboat, but there may be some scary stuff. But we, at the end of the day, like, we feel like we're going to end up at a be safe. sunshiny, happy place. You right. know, like, right. and right. this is this is doing that fine line because, like, right now we don't know who's going to get the axe. Like, we're basically at the clue room. You know, everybody's right. meeting and we're, we're like, all right, let's, let's see who's the one that backstabs someone here in this first game. Right. Or if even getting the axe is a possibility. Like, are we supposed to lose people or are we all going to make it through but go through a bunch of trials and tribulations? I think it's going to be the latter, but the first initial, I don't trust anybody is going to play. And then they'll finally be like, look, dude, it's either all or nothing. 
we all got to be in this or we're all going to die. Right. It would smooth out some of these wrinkles. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, you are so... Oh, no. Oh, no. What is happening right now? Oh, no. few questions so we can identify the toxin okay do you feel a tingle? they all remind me of that character from just go with it in the adam sandler film when they go and he's like trying to drink out of the straw and his face is so botox and plastic <laughs> surgery up like he can't do it how do you spell ale wife i've got to get out of here I'll tell you what man what are you doing? Diseases and poisons are such assholes. Because, like, the first 10 symptoms are all the same fucking thing. Like, you're like how, do I, how do I solve this problem? Like, fuck. This. Uh. I guess I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would, but there's no more wine. So. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was fun. I mean, let's face it. That bottle filled up. A lot more than it should have. Oh, it's so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Try to save Agatha. Uh, uh, yes, I love this plan. I can't wait till all of her like future seeing just like as it lines up, as you know, as we go on with the with the show. That's not the sauna of your dreams. That's right. How scary is it going to get? This is like some Freddy Krueger shit where they're like dreaming and then all of a sudden he's going to pop up in there. You know? Yeah. <laughs> We're in the Wayback Machine now. I'm glad I don't see shit, man. <laughs> An inconvenience. Thank you. Like, we don't oh, have you have to follow you, our. Yeah, you have vines on the inside of your house. I'm out. Yep. We don't have to follow. We don't have to follow our uh, our hallucinations. Yeah, I mean, I would do a lot more shit if I didn't have children. But because of them, if I see a ghost, like I'm just straight U-turning. I'm like, not worth it. I am so curious, but damn me. <laughs> Nope, nope. Oh, definitely no. No, ma'am. No, that's even worse. Are they underwater now? Salt water. Are we underwater right now? Yeah, I, was, I hear you, kid. No, thank you. No, thank you. All natural or not, Jen. Drop it in. I knew it. <laughs> One, two, three. All the limbs are going numb. I... Uh, is there a sous vide? Oh, brilliant. That's... Not in three minutes. And it doesn't heat to boiling. Cute. Cain! Yeah. I need you to... I hate that I know how things in the kitchen work. Yeah. You got more kitchen gadgets than anybody I've ever met in my life. I am a sucker for a single use kitchen gadget. It does one thing, but boy, does it do it perfectly. Uh -oh. I knew if I asked you if you had a secondary panini press, the answer would have been yes. I just didn't realize how wrong my timing was <laughs> and when to ask for it. Like, I didn't realize it was already gone. And I was like, no. <laughs> Sorry, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Like the one time I'm praising these things all the time lately. I knew he had another one. <laughs> Is this old Nikki? Your son? Oh, yeah. Since our alive, it'll blow bright cerulean. <sighs> what are our intentions again? To not die. <laughs> <laughs> what color is cerulean? Blue? I get cerulean and chartreuse confused. Is cerulean the green one? No, it's blue. 
Then it's not working. There you go. I must have forgot something. One minute left. What did you forget? I don't know. That's the longest two minutes I've ever seen. Who is and how much? We need the blood of the unpoisoned. Come here, virgin Sorry, boy. Sorry, kid. <laughs> Thanks for being underage. Oh. Oh. I love when people cut hands like that. Too. So I'm like, you just, that was so deep. He's not, his hand is not functioning well for quite some time now. Right. <laughs> hey, 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 Miss Hart. Come on, girls. Yeah, where the fuck has she been the whole time? On the table. The timer's still ticking. Oh. Mrs. Hart. Oh, there we go. Homegirl remembered it. And the baby survives. Whew. The baby survives. Are we supposed to crawl through it? I ain't crawling in no oven. I am not climbing in an oven. See? Get in the oven. Just shove her in there. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Hey, somebody knew what they were doing. Yeah. As much as I think I would like space travel, I'm really not keen about doors blocking behind me and small pathways. Like, I would never survive. Oh, Jesus. He just pushed him the fuck out of the second kick of the heel. <laughs> Not everyone. Sharon's dead. God damn it. Damn it. Why, Corey? Because you really liked her. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, man. I didn't want them to kill her. That sucks. We don't Just, know, yet. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Ooh, she could come yeah. back even more powerful. Or she turns into somebody, right? Like, or or, the, or they just didn't want to afford her for the whole show. <laughs> I think you feel... These actors don't make as much money on these episodes as you think they make. You understand that, right? Like okay, the maybe. big names, yeah, they get paid, but everybody below Catherine Hahn on this fucking show isn't making anything close to what she is making. They're like, yo, dude, you got fucking eight minutes per episode. Like, here's your fucking 10K. Shut up. It's still 10K. <laughs> it's absurd, but it's not like they're getting paid $80,000, 100K for one of these episodes or even the season. See? Now I want to go find out. I want to go figure out who's making what. <laughs> ah, but very cool, very cool trial episode. I think if this is going to be the the progression, uh, this could be this is going to be a real good time. I hope that each episode, up to a certain point, when they go through their characters, is them walking off into like a new set each time and then they get recycled back down into the path that they're supposed to be on that's slightly a little different kind of like they did this time because right i like the path it reminds me of honey i shrunk the kids when we were like with the ants and stuff like it's just big and you know vibrant and but i don't think they're gonna be able to maintain an episode just in the forest like they're gonna have to break off to the beach house but no i'm with you i need I want something to happen along the walks to the next one, right? Like the forest starts closing in on them or, or, or something like that. Like, yeah, I think that would be really fun. Something, yeah, something, well, like this one where it almost sucked Miss Harden into the tree. Like, you can't stay on the path. You have to, you have to divert on this thing and go do this next trial or this next test or whatever it is on the road. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good show. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching us to the end. We appreciate it. Um, don't forget subscribe to all the youtube stuff it helps us out and yeah we will catch you guys next time for uh the fourth episode of agatha see you guys